Here we're going to start to build the rotor head. We're going to start with the control system, in particular the swash plate. You'll need uh, the swash plate parts you see, plus some blue thread light lock, a 1.5 millimeter hex driver, and a 4 millimeter opened end wrench. We're going to get going here by installing the three set screws that go in the bottom outer ring of the swash plate. You want to put them in with blue thread lock. You don't want to really tighten these up. They're located under each of the uh, three swash plate arms. Now, the purpose of these uh, is not um, immediately obvious. They're here to tighten the outer ring of the bearing. Over time, this bearing will get some play in it, and the inside of the swash plate will actually have some play in it. By tightening these set screws, you can actually deform the outer ring of the bearing slightly, take this play out. This swash plate will last a very long time. Again, you put these three in, blue thread lock, you just snug them up against the bearing at this point. Okay, next we're going to put the 109 control balls on the inner ring of the swash plate. There's four of them. I want to install them with blue thread lock. There are only four holes, so they go in, in these specific positions. Now the shorter 107 balls go on the outer ring of the swash plate. There's actually four fingers. These go in three. You want to put them in with blue thread lock. Use the one and a half millimeter hex driver. And you want to leave the center finger open. That's uh, where the last piece of this goes. The last piece that goes on the swash plate is the anti-rotation pin. It goes in the center finger on the front of the swash plate. Put some blue thread lock on it. Thread it in. Take the four millimeter open wrench. Snug that down. Okay, the swash plate part of the rotor head is complete.